Hey, 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 everyone. I'm Rosie from K15T, and this is your weekly dose of Confluence. This week, Confluence didn't have any updates, but the weekly dose still has you covered with an insightful and beneficial video. This episode is all about presenter mode in Confluence, a feature designed to transform your regular Confluence pages into sleek, distraction-free presentations. Maybe you've encountered this problem before. We know we have. You've beautifully and meticulously created a Confluence page full of all the content that you need. All of a sudden, you need to present this content, but first you'll have to copy and paste everything into a keynote or a PowerPoint. This is a huge loss of time. We used to face this problem during our internal quarterly demos, where we would use Keynote to present everything. As soon as presenter mode was released, we were able to save so much time and no information was lost. There was no need for a highly sophisticated presentation tool. But don't get us wrong. With presenter mode, you can still have a beautiful full screen presentation from using any Confluence page. This guarantees not only to save you time, but it also gives you the ability to preserve the macros that you've been using in your Confluence page that might not be supported on other programs. Here are some of our tips on how to have a great presentation in Confluence. Make sure to make your page narrow instead of the widescreen version. This will ensure that it looks best for the presenter mode. Use dividers between your slides. This will automatically adjust when presenting to make sure that it's focusing on the section that you want it to. Use page layouts to structure your information. You can also arrange images this way. Info panels can bring color to your presentations. If you don't want the emoji on top, just remove it for a blank normal panel. Go ahead and color it however you want to bring a little bit of life to your presentation. Charts are also a great way to display data for your audience. If you're curious to know the ins and outs of making beautiful charts in Confluence, check out our best practice article, which we'll be sure to link in the description for you. And lastly, if you're starting from scratch, the presenter mode template will guide you through creating a page that looks great when presented. It helps you to set an agenda, add main points, and summarize everything effectively. Now, we'll show you a quick example of a presentation that we've prepared in Confluence. As you glide through your presentation, watch as the current section pops, while the rest of the page takes a soft step back into the gray tones. This creates a perfect stage for your key points. It's also a great way to keep your audience focused on your current slide, no matter how eager they are to jump ahead. You can switch between light and dark themes while presenting, and everything will revert back to the normal settings as soon as you're out of presenter mode. Sharing your presentation is as easy as it is to present it. A QR code will be generated for your audience to scan and follow along with you on their devices. They can also interact with your content in real time, with the ability to star things or to leave comments. However, don't worry, these remarks won't be visible for everyone during the presentation. One thing to keep in mind is that presenter mode is best for internal presentations, simply because of the lack of customization such as animations or specifically colored backgrounds. Confluence has you covered from creation to collaboration and also presentation. So that's it for this week. If you're curious to know more about Confluence's presenter mode, we'll be sure to link the Atlassian article in the description so you can also get how-tos and more information. Don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter also in the description, and like and subscribe for more Confluence news and updates. Thanks for watching!